Hello, uh, good afternoon, good morning, whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to my channel. Um, with another charity shop haul, I only posted one of these very recently, um, but I've been out and done some more sourcing in my local town this weekend. Um, and to be honest, this is going to have to be it for a while because I don't have the storage space and I need to start getting stuff sold. Um, Yes. Anyway, um, so I went to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I went to eight charity shops today, and I didn't buy stuff from all of them. I bought from four of them: Martin House, Scope, um, the Hospice Shop, and RSPCA. So I'll start, I'll do it in chronological order. The first place I went was um, the Martin House shop, which everything is one pound and I got these three items. Um, the first thing I came across is um, this floral denim skirt. It's a pencil skirt and it's size 22. So it's a, it's a good big size and it's denim by two, which is obviously Sainsbury's. That was the first time I've picked up anything um, supermarket branded because usually I stick away from it because I think well that's not going to sell for very much money but um, I thought the pattern was lovely it's in perfect condition it's denim it's a really good size um, so I think the pattern will sell it um, I haven't really looked at comps for anything that I bought today um, so I haven't had a chance yet I literally just got home but that was the first thing that I got for a pound um, the next thing is this white shirt. It's a men's racing green, um, size XL, and I picked it up because it's a linen blend. It's 70% cotton, 30% linen, really nice thick material. Um, so I thought that would do well. It's a good big size and has nice materials and it's from a half decent brand. So for a quid. And then the last thing is this pair of trousers, which I actually found in a women's section, maybe put in the wrong place. Um, they are a men's size 38 waist um, golfing trousers. They are from M&S um, and they are part of their Blue Harbour golf range. Um, I'm not sure what um, it will, what they will go for, because um, I don't usually tend to pick up stuff that's just M&S own brand. Um, but I know that golfing clothing can get some decent returns um, and again for one pound why not next shop was scope um, which I don't usually get um, much if anything in but today was quite good now I've noticed in recent um, times sort of like the last six months when I've been in they must have some sort of partnership because they have um, so many brand new with tags Coast, um, Bowden, Phase 8, those kind of brands, the, the typical brands that I would pick up at the right price. Um, brand new tags but with faults um, and they're still asking for like between 10 and 15 pounds per dress even though, I know it's brand new tags but even though it's got faults which um, I just kind of wasn't willing to, to pay. However, um, I did pick up um, one dress because it's Bowdoin brand new with tags in this acid yellow. It's cotton pockets, kind of fitted, and um, they had it out for um, £5, size 14. So £5 for a brand new Bowdoin cotton dress. I was very happy to pay that. Um, I don't know why it's so much cheaper because there's actually no defects on it. It's in mint condition. Um, but for whatever reason, they decided to earn the extra £5 for it, so I picked it up. The next thing I picked up, and I'm only an hour and over, is this mint velvet top. Because mint velvet is expensive in the shop, but the materials are just crap, quite frankly. This is a polyester top. It's got quite a lot of loose threads on the bottom that need trimming. It's a size 14, again. Um, the lacy element is made of cotton, which is nice. But, I mean, this was probably like a £50, £60 top when it was new. Um, I paid £4 for it, and I would hope to get around the £20 mark. Um, but 
in all honesty, I think in the future, unless it's something really special, I'm going to stop picking up Mint Velvet because I just don't think it's great. I think it's one of those brands that you really just pay for the label. Um, but on from something that's not so great to something that I'm buzzing with, it's this top. Let me hold that back because I don't want to give anything away. And it doesn't look like anything particularly special. It's just like a navy. Um, it's either like a thick blouse or a light jacket because it's got pockets in it. Button down front. Doesn't look like anything special. I paid um, £3 for it. It's a size 16. But it's Mark and Spencer, St Michael, brand new with tags. And it's 100% pure virgin wool for three quid. I haven't looked at comps on this, but I'm quite excited. I'm hoping that it's going to do well. Watch me get my hopes dashed. I'm not sure. Um, annoyingly, you can't see what it actually, because it was clearly in the clearance at St. My, uh, St. Michael at M&S, but you can't actually see what they were charging for it, which would have been quite interesting, um, given that this must be at least what is it, 20 years old since since St Michael's stopped being a range at Marks and Spencer? So yeah, really happy with that pickup. The next thing I got, um, I probably overpaid for, but I just really liked it. It's a monsoon cotton thin jumper. So this could actually still sell because it'll be fine for spring. And it's got this really pretty um, stars, moons and constellation kind of print on it. Paid £4 for it, which is probably a bit too much, as I said. So size 10, well, it's a, it's a size medium. They've got it down as a 10. Um, and there's nothing on the back, but yeah, it's... It might even be a wool blend. Let me double check. I did have a look at the materials. It's cotton, viscose, nylon and, nylon and wool. So cotton, wool blend, uh, cotton wool. <laughs> Um, that's fine with me. Um, need to have a look at comps because I'm not sure, but I would hope that the um, embroidery and pattern on the front will sell that because it's very pretty. I said to my mum that I could picture her in it, but she wasn't a fan. The next thing I picked up was actually a jumper from Edinburgh Woolen Mill. Now, as I said in my previous um, video, I know it's the wrong time for jumpers now, we're about to come out of winter, but the reason I picked it up is because it is 100% um, cashmere. It's a UK size, oh, UK size 10. They've given me a nice little thing to take. They had that around the um, neck of the coat hanger. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what that green colour refers to. But yeah, it's 100% cashmere. And yet on the um, washing instructions, it still says put in the washing machine at 30 degrees. I'm not being funny. If I bought cashmere, I wouldn't be putting it in the washing machine. Um, but it's got this really pretty twist down the front and kind of like a v-neck. Um, it's only a size 10. It's a little diddy jumper. I think it's dead cute. I could imagine my nan wearing that and I might see if she actually wants to buy it off me. But um, the trouble with my nan is that she buy clothes and then she'll put them in a drawer and never wear them. And she wears... She'll wear clothes that she's had for 40 years, but the stuff that she's bought brand new just sits in the wardrobe with its tag still on. I don't understand the logic, but it's down to her. So that was everything that I got from Scope. Um, now, the main um, place that I got stuff from was um, the local hospice shop, um, which had everything, oh, all clothing and shoes at half price. Um, so I picked quite a lot up because their prices are already reasonable enough as it is. Um, so the first thing I got is this um, skirt. It is a 100% cotton and it's jigsaw, size 10. Um, it's funny how, how things work out. I'd actually said to myself I wanted to buy some jigsaw because the little girl's dress that I picked from my book haul is so beautifully made and such a nice little dress. It's not going to sell for much because I've done the comps on it. I'll probably get about a tenner for it. But Jigsaw is just a really nice brand that I actually think that you get the quality with. And so I was happy to um, see this in there. And they had it out at £3, which meant that I only paid £1.50 for it. For a pure cotton skirt. Um, it's quite a basic skirt, but Jigsaw. So I'm hoping that that should go for some decent money. 
Um, the next item is a pair of size 14 ladies cut off trousers, 100% um, cotton and they are from John Lewis. And again, £3, so I paid £1.50. Um, oh, sorry, 97% cotton and 3% elastane, kill me. Um, but they're beautifully soft and yeah, they do have a bit of stretch in them. Um, they'll be make someone a great pair of summer crops. And then, um, probably from the same lady, is exactly the same pair, but in a lighter kind of corn flowery blue. Um, and again, size 14, should have been three pounds, paid one pound fifty. Don't know how much John Lewis own brand stuff tends to go for because I've never sold it before. But you would hope that it would be more than one pound fifty. Um, then for I think I paid two pounds. Yes, because it should have been four pounds. Uh, this pair of Hobbs size eight formal kind of workwear trousers got a really nice waistband with some black piping on them, and they're in. I don't know what you'd call that pattern. It's almost like a tiny tiny dog tooth, but it's not. Um, Let's see what the material is. I don't think it'll be that good. I think hops will be a bit like uh, mint velvet. Oh, I lie, I lie. 65% wool, 35% viscose. So that is brilliant. Very happy with that. Um, two pounds for some wool blend trousers and a, a good amount of wool as well at 65%. That's Fine with me. Because I did have a hob skirt that stuck around for ages and eventually sold and went to America, but that wasn't a great material. I think that was polyester. So that's probably why. The next thing, I'm a bit like, ugh, probably should have just left this behind. Uh, I picked it up for the brand. It's a gentleman's Ted Baker shirt, um, but the pattern's pretty awful. Um, it's a size 3, so I don't know what that equates to, but it's small, that's all I can tell you. Um, and it's 100% cotton, as you'd expect, and it's Ted Baker. Um, it should be in £4, I paid £2. But yeah, it would surprise me if this sticks around for a while. Um, but you never know, you never know. And for £2, hey-ho. It's not like I laid out a tenner on it, like some shops are asking for for various brands. Not saying anything. Um, the next thing I got was a pair of brand new of Tags um, Port West work trousers. They're nothing special, they're quite nice trousers to be fair. Um, they are a 40 inch waist and they were £2, half price, front floor, still got the tag on there. Um, and these go for about 25 on eBay, so... Um, yeah, a nice, quick and easy item there, I'm hoping. The next thing I picked up um, is a bit of a fail, but it only cost me £2, so I'm not gutted. Um, it's this jumper, and it has a tag in it for Golden Bear. Um, now, having looked on eBay, well, I, I looked on eBay when I was in there, and there were some Golden Bear jackets that were selling used for, like, over £100. Um, but I didn't look at the label properly, should have done, not the same label. Um, can't find Golden Bear jumpers anywhere on eBay, I don't think it's a thing. And I should have known really when I was looking at the internal tag, because it's all in, um, I'm not sure which language it is, maybe it's Chinese, maybe it's Japanese, some sort of what looks like Asian um, language. And so I don't actually know what material it's made from. Now, I'm going to try and translate this somehow. And if it turns out to be made out of nice materials, then I'll still be able to sell it because of that. Um, and I want to do some more research just in case it is something half decent. But yeah, as I say, I paid £2 for it. It's a size medium. It's, it is a really nice knit, to be fair. Um, but I think um, I should have maybe paid some more attention to online when I was looking at it in the shop, but oh well, two pounds. The next thing I got is um, a lipsy dress. Now I can imagine this being a girl's prom dress because it's a size 10, which a lot of teenagers are. 
um, and I paid £2.50 for it. It's this gorgeous navy colour with this sort of lacy embroidered panels down each side and around the back and it's incredibly long as you can see. Um, so it's a very, it's like it's a floor scraper is this one and yeah it's Lipsy UK size 10. They're asking five so I paid £2.50. Um, I don't think the materials will be anything spectacular. It also has um, a massive side split. <laughs> the materials... It's polyester, which I was, I was expecting. Polyester and elastane. Um, but yeah, still a very pretty dress for £2.50. I don't know how much Lipsy goes for, but I've always thought it was a half decent brand. Um, I know that Next sell Lipsy, so... We'll see, but £2.50 I thought it was worth a punt. And the final thing I got, which I'm really happy with, is a vintage St Michael men's um, wool blend jacket. Um, it's sort of just past your bum length, mid-thigh, and um, as you can see there, it says the, the St Michael's. Marks and Spencer's uh, wool rich, and it's a 46 inch chest, so it's a a big chest it's a size medium but 46 is a big chest and it's 80 percent wool 20 percent polyamide um so 80 percent wool blend is a great uh amount and this should have been 10 pounds but i paid five i don't know if i said that or not um but yeah again i'm aware we're coming out of winter but for a fiver for a st michael's wool coat i'll see a little bit behind and then um in the final shop, which was the RSPCA, um, I got these ladies, uh, wee black label, um, what's it called, pin cords? The little cords. Needle cords, needle cords, trousers, and they're really um, lightweight and soft and scrunchy. In this um, sort of browny, tanny, cinnamony colour, they are uh, UK size 14 and I paid £3 for them. Um, I'm hoping they'll fit in with the whole 90s vibe that's going on at the moment. And the brand seems half decent having looked at um, eBay. I did, just did a quick search of the brand on eBay whilst I was in the shop to see if they were worth picking up or not. But I need to do some more research into them properly to know how much I can list them for. Um, and with the last three items I paid up on um, for the brands. So the first one is this Lacoste men's double XL denim shirt. Paid six pound fifty for this um, from the RSPCA, and should hopefully get around the thirty pound mark, maybe even thirty five. A uh, really good size being double XL, so um, was happy to pay up on that. I think it'll be worth it. The next thing um, is I usually pick up stuff that's extra small. I find it difficult to shift. But it's pretty green, brand new with tags, um, and again that was also six fifty. So I'm gonna aim for maybe forty on that, or it being brand new with tags. And then finally is another pretty green shirt, but this one's used and it's a size medium and was also six fifty. So we'll hopefully get sort of twenty five to thirty pounds of that. Is what I'm aiming for. So that's everything I picked up today. Um, quite a few items there, and hence why I'm gonna have to rein it in now. Um, got some research to do on some of them and will hopefully do okay. Um, I don't seem to have a pick up the amazing brands that everyone finds like All of Our Brown or you know uh, Desigual or I can't think but I know what <laughs> there's certain brands <laughs> um, that I just I just don't seem to come across. Um, in either Harrogate or my local town so I don't know it all seems to be a bit more generic um, but that's fine as long as it sells I'm um, gonna keep plowing on with my listing and see how it goes um, I haven't asked recently in, in months um, but if you are enjoying my content please um, give me a thumbs up because it really does help and um, consider subscribing if you would like to see more um, but yeah See you soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.